guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. So today we are doing a very, very fun video that I've been waiting to do for the longest time. We are gonna be trying on Wish Halloween costumes and seeing what they're really like because we all know Wish can be a little bit hit or miss sometimes. Also, unfortunately, one of the costumes I ordered just never ended up showing up, so we're gonna be missing that one. That one was the Alice in Wonderland one, I believe, which I was really excited for too, so pretty bummed about that, but I didn't wanna wait until like Halloween was over. But anyways, these are the rest of the costumes right here, and I'm so excited to try them on, so I think we should just jump right into the video. Also, I just wanna point out that I'm currently sick right now, so if my voice sounds a little bit weird, that is why, unfortunately, but anyways, Onto the video. <laughs> this is the first one right here, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually so excited for this one. So it is a giant pumpkin and I love it already. So this is what the costume looks like right here. It is pretty big, honestly. And then it also comes with a little hat, which is so cute, oh my gosh. This honestly feels like the same material as felt, but it's actually pretty thick, which I'm a little surprised because I kind of figured it would be, you know, kind of thin and cheapy, but it actually feels pretty thick. So we might have good costume on our hands here, who knows? So it's just Velcro on the back, so you just undo it and kind of just hop inside of it, <laughs> which is pretty easy to get on, which I like. Because let's be honest here, nobody likes a tricky, complicated Halloween costume, okay? I just want to slip that on and slip it right off, you know? <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie I'm super excited for this but one thing I've noticed is that it's kind of shedding like crazy like there's little pieces of it almost looks like little pieces of orange hair just flying all over the place <laughs> here is the pumpkin costume and this one is actually really really cute I gotta say it is a little bit short like I'm just wearing some shorts underneath right now but you can't do like a lot of movement in it without it kind of rising up so I'd probably wear like maybe tights underneath or leggings or something like that so that's what the back looks like there I gotta say I think my favorite part about this costume is definitely the hat I think the hat just kind of like tops it all off and just makes the costume so much more better just imagine strolling up to a Halloween party in this I would be strutting my stuff. A pumpkin is here to party. Kang has a pumpkin costume for Halloween that I bought him like maybe a couple years ago and I'm just thinking about the pictures we could take together <laughs> in our matching pumpkin costumes. So cute. I have to give this costume a thumbs up. It's definitely not the most comfortable thing in the world. Like the headband is a little bit, you know, cutting off my circulation, but oh well. I mean, it's just so darn cute and funny and I love it. Costume number two. I'm excited. <laughs> Guys, look at this costume. Oh my gosh, this is actually like really good quality. The only thing that kind of sucks about this one is that it doesn't come with like a mask or anything like that. Like it's just the um, one piece, that's it. But I still think this is super cool. And honestly, you could even do like a Spider-Man makeup if you really wanted to. It's pretty stretchy and honestly, the quality feels really, really nice on this. I'm just hoping that this fits me good because I feel like with one pieces, sometimes it's really easy to look unflattering on the body. It can either be like way too loose or way too tight and just, you know, <laughs> doesn't look great. Also, the back is so cute. I love that. And that's actually where, you know, you just zip it down like that. So the zipper works, which is good because <laughs> that would suck if it was broken. What does Spider-Man do? He does a little like pew, 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 web slinging thing. <laughs> I don't know. If you didn't know, that was me slinging my spider webs at you. I genuinely feel like I could do some yoga or work out in this costume like you know, drop a deep squat if you really wanted to. <laughs> Ow, I just hit my butt on the door. It's honestly just really comfortable and it also looks super cool. I'm definitely really, really impressed with this suit for sure. Now just imagine I had some Spider-Man makeup on my face and this look would be complete. So as you guys can hopefully see, it comes down to like the perfect length. It's not too short, it's not too long. It kind of just hits me at like the right spot. So that's what the back looks like there. I honestly really like this and I think it's really good quality for the price that I paid. Like if you go to, um, what's that store called? Spirit Halloween or whatever, you're paying like $60 for a costume like this. No, thank you. I can't remember the exact price I paid for this, but it was definitely cheaper than that, and like I said, the quality feels great. I know that this is only the second costume that we tried on so far, but so far, you're doing good, Wish. <laughs> so obviously a big thumbs up for this one because unlike the pumpkin one where it was a little bit uncomfortable, this one's actually very, very comfortable to wear, and it's also really, really good quality, so 
definite thumbs up for this one. All right, moving on. So this is the Nun costume I got, so let's see how it looks. Okay, so this costume comes with a couple different pieces. So this is kind of just like the dress part. Then you have this piece right here, which I'm assuming is like the top part. I'll have to look at the pictures again just to make sure everything's right. And then it comes with the little cross piece like that. I think this costume would be really cool if you were to do like really scary nun makeup and just, you know, kind of have that like possessed nun feel. I think that'd be so cool. This one definitely looks a little see-through and it's probably the thinnest so far. But what I really like about this one is that it comes with multiple parts for the costume because I think it's so annoying having to go out and buy extra parts for your costume. I mean, maybe that's just a me thing, but I just think it's super annoying. <laughs> Speaking of the Nun costume, was anybody else kind of disappointed in the movie The Nun? Because I was a little disappointed. I thought it was going to be a lot more scary and it just wasn't like at all. This is just me ranting because I love scary movies, but honestly, we really only saw that girl like two times in that movie. <laughs> so here's the nun costume and I can already tell that this is definitely on the cheaper quality side. It's actually really, really see-through, so I'm wearing some shorts and a tank top underneath. You definitely wouldn't be able to just wear this because it is very, very see-through. It doesn't look like it's that see-through when you're just holding it up, but once you have it on, completely different story. <laughs> the headpiece is actually really, really loose. I have it actually tucked behind my ears right now and somehow it's managing to stay. But when I first put it on, it kept falling off and like sliding back. I still do really like this costume though, just not as much compared to the other ones. I just feel like I could, you know, kind of rip this in like two seconds if I really wanted to. It's just, you could just tell that it's pretty thin material. So that's what the back looks like there. So that's how far the dress comes down on me and I'm around like 5'6 just for reference. The things that I actually really like about this costume though is that it came with different parts, you know, like the cross, the headpiece, you know, as far as like the Spider-Man costume comes, that's just one piece, you know, there's not different parts. I actually like how this is, you know, a full on costume. Yeah, like I was saying, I think this would look really cool if you did your makeup really scary. I think that would be such an awesome costume. Anyways, I'm still gonna give this costume a thumbs up. Like I said, even though it is kind of cheap and pretty thin, I still think it's actually a really cool costume. All right, moving on to the next one. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we have one of the most basic Halloween costumes I think I've ever seen, and that is the cop. So this is actually another one that comes with multiple parts, which I love. So this is just the actual costume part right here. So it's kind of more of a mature costume, more than like the, the pumpkin one, obviously. And then we have the hat, which is so cute. We have the little handcuffs, our badge, of course, and then... Oh, we got a little belt too, that's so cute. It looks like it could possibly be a little bit see-through, maybe in like the right lighting, but I guess we'll just have to see that when we try it on. I know I said this is one of the most basic Halloween costumes, and I mean, let's be honest, it is, but I still think I'm actually really gonna like this one. I mean, it's so cute, how could you not? I'm gonna be surprised if I don't like this one, honestly. So Officer Morgan here reporting for duty. So I like this costume, I knew I would though, but there are some things about it that I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, for starters, my handcuffs, let me just get them in my belt here. Here they are, came broken. <laughs> so that kind of sucks, but I mean, it's not a huge deal. Also, the belt is pretty humongous on me. So if I wanted to wear it, I would definitely have to, you know, put another hole in it. But for the sake of this video, I'm just wearing it like this right now. The little badge is, I don't know what kind of material it is. It's like, kind of like very, 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 very thin plastic to the point where you can bend it and mold it like I could crush it into a ball. <laughs> I didn't realize how slight it actually was. But overall, I think this costume is actually really, really cute. I mean, yes, it does have some parts about it that are kind of cheap, but overall, it's super cute. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing. <laughs> I like this one because yes, it is more of a mature adult costume, but it's not to the point where, you know, it's too revealing and I kind of like that. So that's what the back looks like. Also, just something else to know about this one is that this is actually as far as the zipper goes up right here. You can kind of tell when it was in the package that I knew I was going to like this one. Is it my favorite? I don't think so. Is it amazing quality? Mm, not really. It's a little bit thin, but I still think this is a great costume. I love how it comes with different parts. If you were to go buy this in one of the Halloween stores, it would be so expensive, trust me. So I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. And last, but hopefully not least, we have this one, and I couldn't show the package it came in because it had my address on both sides. But anyways, this one is a, oh, it's the bunny one. So this one again comes with multiple parts. So this is the little dress part right here, so cute. Then we have this little headband, and whenever I see something like this, it just automatically reminds me of Ariana Grande because I mean, this was kind of like one of her most iconic looks ever. But anyways, yeah, cute little headband. And then we have our little bow tie thing. This little bunny tail, which it has a little pin, so I'm assuming you just pin it onto the dress. And then we have our 
gloves. So this one comes with a lot of smaller parts like these two right here. And I feel like honestly, knowing me, I'd probably lose these before I even got to wear it. <laughs> so I'm assuming you just pin this tail on the back of the dress like that. I'm gonna double check the picture just to make sure. But I think that's so cute. Not gonna lie though, it kind of reminds me of like a waiter or honestly, you know what you could be with this thing? You could be a penguin. You're really good. And so here is the bunny costume. And to be 100% honest, I was kind of expecting this one to be a little bit better. I don't know, it just kind of looks a little off. For starters, the headband is almost impossible to stay on your head. I don't know if mine just came a little bit warped, but I keep having to like readjust it every two seconds. Also, I went ahead and just checked the picture on Wish just to make sure I had the costume on right. And for some reason, I cannot figure out where she has this bow. <laughs> like, it's nowhere to be found in the costume whatsoever that she's wearing. So I just went ahead and put it around my neck. So I don't know. Can we just take a moment of silence, please, for my tail? <laughs> Also, is it just me or am I the only one that finds the length of these gloves really awkward? <laughs> like, I feel like I look like I'm gonna rob a place in these gloves. If they were longer up to here, I think that would work so much better, but they're so short. <laughs> I mean, the one thing that I truly love about this one is that it wasn't just a dress, you know what I mean? It came with so many different parts, it really made the costume complete. But I just feel like the costume itself is very, very cheap looking. It's a little bit frumpy at the bottom and just, I don't know, there's something about it that I don't like. And I really, I can't exactly put my finger on it, but it's something. <laughs> so here's a better look at the back. And I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but it is actually high low. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this costume. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it meh? I feel like I'm kind of in the meh part right now. Some parts I really like, some parts I really don't like. I am gonna go ahead and say though that this is probably my least favorite costume out of everything, but I still kind of want to give it a thumbs up for some reason. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's totally awful and it still looks kind of cute, right? So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. And also my headpiece almost just fell off. <laughs> so those were all the Wish Halloween costumes. Make sure you let me know which one was your favorite in the comments down below. Like I said, I am kind of disappointed that the last costume didn't show up, but who knows? It, uh, it might show up for next Halloween. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe because I would really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to go check me out on Instagram and it's always linked down below. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and a happy Halloween and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!